Ok, next tutorial. This time I am dressed up as a White Walker from Game of Thrones. Now I need to start off by saying I have no idea what these guys are, I've never seen Game of Thrones, it's another one of those things I need to, I've got on my list of things to watch, so um, I hope I did this justice just going off reference photos. Um, and again, this is one of those looks that's been requested so many times in the past, so I'll flash the first few people's names on the screen here that requested it. And the very, very first person that requested it was Casey Couture 604 so I'll pop their name there, so thank you so much for requesting it, but thank you everyone that requested it. So yeah, if you'd like to learn how to recreate this makeup, stay tuned. So the first two things I'm going to do is block out my eyebrows and apply a plain latex ball cap, which you don't have to do, I just think it will look more effective if I have the hair starting quite far back, so that's why I'm going to do it. So I'll pop two videos on the screen here to the tutorials where I teach you guys how to block your eyebrows out and apply a ball cap, just to make this video a little bit shorter if you'd like to learn how to do that. So yeah, so I'm going to speed ahead, apply all that and get back to you. So there we go, so I've applied my ball cap and I've gone around the edge with about two to three layers of liquid latex just to get rid of the edge completely. So then I'm going to take a sponge and some more liquid latex and I'm going to go over my eyebrows and over my forehead and just build that area up for about four layers. Then whilst the last layer is drying, I can take some cotton wool and working in really little pieces and making sure it's fairly thin because it's hard to work with otherwise, and just press it down in the area you want, which is going to be my brow and start pulling away the edges so it's more thin as it tapers out. I'm just going to push that down and then saturate that with more liquid latex. Okay, I'm using cotton wool just because it's going to be quite thick and I haven't got to use as many layers as I had with tissue but it's just different methods really. So I'm going to use this and apply it in a V shape going up because it's going to be a very very angry brow. Um, I'm going to do this for about four layers I think so I'm going to apply it in this area, let it dry then go over it again and do that again four times. So when it starts getting extra thick, on the last layer you can start manipulating it a bit more and pushing it down, so using your thumbs to make it a little bit angrier, but then I'll stop using the sponge because it will get difficult to saturate, so it's easy just to use your finger and just use small circular motions, dip it dipped in the latex and just start smoothing the area out and really covering everything in latex. So then I'm going to take some liquid latex again and just go around my nostrils uh, to the tip of my nose basically and I'm going to start building that up just so it looks more like a snarl effect. I'm not going to bother the rest of my face because I can do that with contouring and the lines and highlighting. Yeah, but this area I need to make my nose look a bit more prominent. So just this area here. And again, you can take some cotton wool, just press it down on the last layer that's still slightly wet and pull it off and do the same on the opposite side and then start shaping it. So it's this very strong, like half moon shape, it just pulls the nostrils up, basically. Okay, so you can't really see it until I've coloured it, but I've just made the nostrils a little bit higher and I've ended the tip of my nose a little bit, so it's a bit lower down. Just because when I colour it, it's going to be very stretched down the nostrils to the point. And I did that just by applying more cotton wool, only about two layers this time, just and just using cotton buds just to manipulate it a little bit, because it's a bit more delicate than using your fingers, so... Yeah, so when that's all dry, I'm going to take some Snazaroo Clown Wire and it's going to apply that all over my face and my ears. I'll do my neck and chest area last. Then I can take some Grimace Black Cream and I'm just going to start tracing on the shape that I want for the cheekbones. Then I can just bring that up and then start shaping the eyes and also the temples. So I'm not going to do any blending yet, I'm just going to draw the rough lines on. Okay, so I know it looks messy for now, but this is just the basic sketch shape of all the um, bone hollows like I'm, go I'm going off of from my reference photos. So then I'm just going to take an angle brush and some more of that colour, and I'm just going to start shading all of this in. So I'm going to start with the cheekbone here. All of this here needs to be blended downwards, so I'm just going to take the colour and just sweep it down. I'm not going to go up and down, just always go downwards in one motion, so it looks like it's dark here and it gets lighter as it goes down. That just makes this line here look a lot more prominent. So that'll do for now just roughly, so just to start getting the shading going on, I've made the edge a little bit darker just along here and here, just where the darkest points are going to be. I'll go in blending that afterwards, but I'm going to do exactly the same again with these areas here. So I'm just going to blend the areas outwards, so I'm going to take the angle brush again and just blend all of these into themselves. So if I, for example, start here, I can just pull this colour up and then I can pull this colour downwards and then I can pull the bottom colour upwards. So I can do that all the way along so the middle points of each of these are lighter.
And I'm just going to add another area with a black cream just in the center. So it looks like there's this area here just for the center of the head. So then I just blended that area out just a lot lighter than the rest of this here. But I'm going to go back to that in a second. Then I'm just going to take the same black cream again and I'm going to start working around the mouth area. So I'm just going to change this design a tiny little bit to make it come around and down. So I'm going to do the same shading again. I'm going to do this with now a bigger brush. I'm going to take to the black again. I'm just going to blend all this colour inwards and all of this. I'm going to make sure this area here is completely clean. I'm going to get rid of the line that joins it on there, I think. And then I'll be able to blend all this colour inwards towards the centre of the mouth in exactly the same way. Then I'm just going to take the fluffy brush with a tiny bit of the black on and I'm just going to start colouring in the eye area so just inside here and a little bit underneath and all over the eyelids. So as you can see I've left the area around the eyes fairly unblended same as the contouring around the face. The reason I've done that is because it needs to be quite dark so it needs to stand, stand out through the thatched lines that I'm going to draw on for the wrinkles so that's why it's a bit more dramatic so it compensates. So now I can take a small but firm brush and using the black cream I can start drawing on these lines so I'm going to start this area here so it's going to be it goes right through all of these lines so I'm just going to draw line after line going in starting here then moving around then down all towards the mouth as if the mouth puckered. So a similar effect to when I did the silent makeup from Doctor Who there, but for both character types have this puckered face so it draws the face in towards the centre of the mouth. So these lines shouldn't be too close to each other to the point where they're touching but I mean every now and again they can spike off each other but try and get them a little bit far apart from each other. Then I'm just going to extend that going up and around the nose. So I'm just going to draw these little thatch lines going in the same direction. So they start here, but they spike upwards. And these lines join on all the way across this part of the face here. Then the lines seem to change direction and they go across and then round. So yeah, so across and up here and out towards the ears. Then as I said I'm going to do the forehead so the lines go straight and then they're down and down and then across. So they go in this pattern here but they swoop out towards the ears. Then I'm just going to take the black cream again I'm just going to start drawing on the brow wrinkles, brow furrows rather. So just tracing the shape that I've already made with the latex. But then I can pull it up and pull the lines going through this area here. Then I can just contour around the nose area, so not the actual nostrils that I've made just yet, just around that area. Then I can just actually colour in the new nostrils that I made with the latex. Then I'm just going to do a few more lines with the black, just around this area here, going in the same direction as the brow furrows, so not, not necessarily these lines here, just going around the eye shape. Then I'm just going to take a step back from the makeup for a second and just start work on the hair and then go back to this. So for the hair I've got some blonde crepe hair which I've already straightened over steam. So I'm not going to use white because some of the photos I can see the hair does look a little bit blonde. So I'm going to use blonde hair and then I might spray it a little bit white but I want that hint of yellow to be in there. So I'm going to work with tiny strips at a time so it's quite long um, and I'm going to use spirit gum to stick it down so it's going to be, I'm going to make it quite thick here onwards and then I work on the last two or three layers. So I'm going to apply a tiny strip of spirit gum, take a small amount of hair like this, stick it down and press it like that and then pull off any excess. So I can do that all the way along the back of my ball cap. So don't do too much hair because it still needs to look quite thin. Then for the front of the hairline I can just take some more hair. I've already applied the spirit gum to the base of my ball cap so then I can just cut the hair so it's as sharp as I can get it and then I'm going to apply that starting with the middle I think just push it down and just pull away any of the excess just to stagger the hairline a little bit so then when everything's all glued down I'm just going to take some white hairspray in a ventilated area and I'm just going to really lightly dust over all of this so it's not completely white I'll need the blonde to kind of shine through a little bit then I'm going to do the same thing again for the beard and use the same hair. I'm just going to apply a layer of spirit gum all along the jawline and then just start pressing this down. 
So there we are, and I've also sprayed it with the white hairspray as well, just so it matches the hair up here. Then I'm just going to work on my body. So I'm going to start by painting my entire chest area and neck with the Snazaroo Clown White. Then I'm just going to take the black cream and start roughly tracing out the shapes that I want, which is mainly going to be the collarbones, I think, and then I can just do the thatched effect that I've done on the face. Then I'm just going to darken the areas up around it like I did around here. So I'm just going to take the black cream and a slightly bigger brush and just wherever I've shaded and just pull the colour downwards. Then I'm just going to draw the same lines on that I drew on the face, all going in the direction of the face, all going towards the mouth. So it's going to go around and up, the middle one's going to go straight up. Then I'm just going to go back to the face makeup for a second and take some Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in number 1, the black. I'm just going to line the waterline of both my eyes. Then I'm just going to pop in some bright blue contact lenses and I think I'm done. So yeah, so I finished look off by popping in two bright blue contact lenses which I got from CamelEyes.com. I'll pop the link in the description bar below. And yeah, that's my makeup. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's helpful. Um, if you like it, please make sure to you know the usual. Rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time. Bye.